Hi, I'm Garrett, and this is my wife, Jennifer, and we left behind the bright lights of the big city to live out our own country version of the American dream. Welcome to At Home with Massey Ferguson. So it all began for me probably around September 1987, <laughs> but really that, that's when it literally, literally began, but um, I grew up in a small town um, northeast of Atlanta. And at the time, it was very small. Um, it, it wasn't an aggregate community any longer like it was maybe in the 60s, but it was still a small hometown feel type little town. Kind of at the same time, my grandparents moved and bought a, a, a larger farm. They had a farm in the town I grew up in outside up near Hartwell, Georgia, which is not that far from here. And so as a, as a kid, I can remember you know, spending the weekends there and spending you know, weeks at a time in the summer with them and I just loved it. I, I you know, got to ride with my pawpaw on the tractor and cut hay and set hay bales out for the cows to eat in the winter time and help deliver baby calves in the winter you know, near Christmas time when they were calving and it was just always a great escape for me. Even as a kid, I didn't like the city. I never in a million years would have imagined that my job would lead me to meet my wife, but I'm sure glad it did. I remember, you know, growing up on Massey Ferguson's, I'd always loved tractors, and I was moving stuff in my parents' basement. I actually ran across the business card of my fifth grade Sunday school teacher who worked for Agco. I can remember sitting there and thinking, well, that's kind of odd. You know, I never even thought about looking for a job at a tractor company, and this is kind of right up my alley. I like tractors. I like farmers. I like, you know, hay equipment. I like all that has, every, you know, has anything to do with tractors. So I reached out to him and he was still working there and he said we don't actually have any openings at this time but we do have an internship that will start in May. So this was in January and um, so May of 2011 I started an internship with Agco and it was a paid internship so it was really it was a great deal for someone just graduating college so it was, it was a well paid internship and I was an intern until January of 2012, and then I was officially hired that January of 2012 when they created, um, expanded their headcount basically so they could take me on. And so if you count the internship, I'm officially 10 years in now. So he's like boy next door charming, like just always helping somebody. Uh, always so good like he was uh, he met my dad really quickly obviously it's just my dad and I really and so when I moved in my dad was helping me renovate and paint and everything so it was one of the first times that Garrett came out here to see my house and we were just gonna go to dinner and I said do you care if my dad's here because my dad's just like my best friend you know it, it wasn't like a you're gonna meet my dad thing it was just he's always here you may as well get to know him and he just kind of took it in stride, and I know a lot of people stress about stuff like that. He's just always been so good to his family, he's been good to my family. Before she and I started talking, I kind of was thinking that, you know, maybe I was just going to just be alone for the rest of my life because I couldn't find anyone that was interested in the lifestyle that I wanted to lead out in the country. Ever since I was growing up and going to my grandparents' farm, I, I always knew that I wanted to wind up living in the country myself. And I used to tell my grandparents I was going to have a farm, and they, they'd always say, no, you, you, no way, you'll get to high school or whatever, and you'll you know, want to have your friends and live in a city and do all these fun things and all that. And, and I did that, and it, it still just wasn't right. You know, I always wanted to go back to the way things were when I was a child. You know, once I met Jennifer and we, I shared kind of the, the feelings I had about the country, you know, her eyes would just light up. It was like everything that, that she and I both had as far as future goals and plans were really well aligned. And it's, it's funny, I mean, we have our differences just like any other couple, but the main points we pretty much are 100% in agreement on. You know, we don't want to live in town. You know, there's no home within a thousand feet of where we are, and I know, you know, two dozen people I can call. The world is a lot bigger it seems but it's smaller at the same time out here like it's more open and airy and you have better views and more privacy but yet better people next time on at home with massey ferguson come along with us and get to know the great people we call neighbors out here 
we'll take you down the road to show you the tight-knit community that surrounds us. I'm Garrett, and we're the Davises. Stop by again soon. Thank you.